Hi there, future virtual executive assistants, and welcome to module three of how to become a virtual executive assistant, where you're going to learn the tools that you need as a virtual executive assistant. So let's dive into it. The first tool that you need to learn are email tools. You have three famous email tools. You have your Gmail, the next one is Outlook, and the last one is Superhuman. Personally, I've only used two out of these three. I have Gmail and Outlook. Yung superhuman, hindi ko pa siya nagagamit, but I do know a little bit about it. It's a paid email platform, um, and sobrang dami niyang features, and alam ko magandang maganda siya. Pero wala kong clue about superhuman. Now, I am familiar definitely with Gmail. I've been using it for more than 10 years already. And Outlook, I know the basics of Outlook. So you need to learn how to use these tools, especially yung Gmail. Kailangan pag-aralan nyo lahat nung um, basic features niya, like how to create templates, how to schedule send, how to do use filters. So you have to know all of the features ng Gmail. And ang features actually ng Gmail it, and Outlook, it's somewhat similar. They usually use different terms lang. Um, but yeah, quite similar lang naman sila. I'm not sure with Superhuman. But these three email tools, you definitely need to learn how to use them. The next set of tools are calendar tools. First is your Google Calendar. And next is Calendly. Calendly, it's not a calendar where you can parang Google Calendar, hindi siya ganon. It's a um, uh, meeting it's a meeting platform that you are going to integrate with your Google Calendar so that you can send out Calendly links and then mamimili yung kamiting ng client mo kung ano yung open or available meeting slot and then it will automatically update your client's Google Calendar. So, ganun siya. Um, very powerful yung combination ng dalawang yan. And I do have Google Maps under calendar tools because especially kapag when your clients are traveling, let's say may mga meeting sila somewhere around or they have to go to their doctor's appointment, they, may mga flight sila, you always have to input yung travel time ng client mo from one place to the next para maplano nila ng maayos yung calendar nila and that's where Google Maps comes in. So you have to find out or you have to learn yung basic features ng Google Maps mo like um, yung travel time niya, meron yung choices ng arrive by, depart by, yung mga ganyan. So you have to learn how to use that and then you will integrate that also to Google Calendar. The nice thing kasi with Google Workspace, yung Gmail mo, Google Calendar mo, and Google Maps mo is easily integrated as long as nakalogin ka sa iyong Google Workspace or Google Chrome or your client is logged in in their Google Workspace. So they will all work together. The next set of tools are project management tools. Now, ang pinaka-famous dyan sa dalawang, sa tatlong yan is you have your Notion and Asana. And then Trello is also quite famous. Pero ako, I personally use Notion for all of, whether it be personal or work-related. Ang maganda kasi sa Notion, it's very easy to use. Maganda yung environment niya, parang drag and drop lang siya. It's like you're using a an organizer or a scratch book, um, scratch paper, and you're writing down everything. So, yun yung maganda sa Notion. And then, meron din siyang mga available templates within the Notion workspace that you can already use as your own. Tapos, pwede ka rin bumili ng mga Notion templates. You can find a lot on Etsy or other Notion workspace creators. Sa Asana naman, it's used by a lot of big companies, but they are actually slowly moving into Notion already. Um, I've used Asana, I think, for a few months, pero talagang ang focus ko lang talaga is Notion. But it's very important to know the features of Asana and how to use it in terms of project management because a lot of big companies are using this as a project management tool. 
sa Trello naman, I think it's quite different. It's, sorry, it's quite the same as Notion na parang drag and drop lang siya. Si Asana din naman drag and drop lang din siya. But I'm not familiar with Trello. I only used it once for a client sa wedding. And then I never used it again. So it's very important na alam nyo lang naman yung basics on how to use them. If you're not familiar on how to use them, tas biglang sinabi ng client mo, hey, I, we are using Trello in the company. Or do you know how to use it? Sabihin mo, no, I'm not familiar. I'm familiar with Trello, um, but I haven't used it before. I've used Notion or Asana um, with my previous client, but definitely it will be easy for me to learn how to use it. So, after that, kailangan aralin mo na kung paano gamitin yon. And of course, there's a lot of free content um, or tutorial on YouTube that you can use to learn how to um, navigate these project management tools. The next tool that you have to learn also how to use is Google Drive. Very important to. Kasi within Google Drive, you have your Google Sheets, Docs, and Slides. Now, since elementary days natin, alam ko familiar kayo sa Microsoft. You have your Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, ito yung katumbas nila sa Google Drive. Yung katumbas ng Excel mo is Google Sheets. Sa Word mo naman is Google Docs. Sa slides, sa PowerPoint mo naman is yung Google Slides. So, pareho lang ng features. It's just that you're using them within Google Drive. And the advantage of using Google Drive compared to Microsoft is that this is web-based. So, pwede kang mag-work with other, with your company or with your client ng nasa online lang lahat. Okay, nandun lang within Google Drive. Tapos, mapapalitan nyo or ma-edit nyo real-time yung mga documents. Kasi nung, nung we, when we were using Microsoft Excel, kunyari, you send it to your client, tapos may pin-edit siya, babalik niya sa'yo, isa-save mo na naman, and then send, pabalik-balik kayo. With Google Drive, since it's web-based, real-time yung mapapalitan lahat ng mga edits. Your client can leave comments, you can see it, you can even see your client editing real-time yung mga, yung mga details within Google Sheets, Docs, or Slides. So, very, very nice to learn how to use this. It's very easy, especially if you're already familiar with Microsoft Office. The other tools that you need to familiarize yourself as a virtual executive assistant is Google Forms. Now, this is within Google Drive naman. Walang katumba si Google Forms, I think, sa Microsoft Word. Now, Google Forms is when you have to create surveys, quizzes. This is where you can create those um, things or documents easily. So, ito yung mga kailangan mong pag-aralan sa Google Forms. Monday.com is another type of um, project management tool that is also being used by a lot of companies already. So, it's an up and coming, I think, pero matagal ko na siya nakikita nag advertise sa YouTube. Um, ngayon, nakakasabayan na niya sina, Trello, Notion, and Asana. So, good thing to know. And last pass, finally, is one of the most important tools that you need to learn how to use because last pass is a password sharing um, platform. So, for you to, for your client to be able to confidently share their logins to you na alam nilang um, encrypted siya is through LastPass. LastPass is also where your client can share their financial um, uh, what's this? financial details like credit card information, bank account information. They can share it through LastPass na naka-encrypt yon. When we say encrypt, pwedeng hindi mo makita kung ano yung actual password niya, pero malalogin mo siya doon sa um, website na gagamitin mo. So, LastPass is um, very important, of course, to build trust with your client and for your client to confidently um, share all of the sensitive information to you. So, that's it for our third module of the tools that you need to learn to become a successful virtual executive assistant.